in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen my dear brother and sister fraternal greetings to you from the carmelite fathers and warm welcome to carmel light reflection on the day's readings it's the first of jan wednesday and the and the eighth day of the christmas octave today we mark the first day of the year so let me wish you a happy new year and the and the church today celebrates the solemnity of mary the mother of god what the special of today it's the new year day also global family day and 53rd world peace day world peace day was established by the church and today it marks the 53rd world peace for all these intentions and now let me read the first reading of the day that is from the book of numbers chapter 6 verses 22 to 27 The Lord said to Moses Say to Aaron and his sons Thus you shall bless the sons of Israel You shall say to them The Lord bless you bless you and keep you The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. I put my name upon the sons of Israel and I will bless them. The word of the Lord thanks be to God. We are saying goodbye to the year 2019 and begin this new year blessing our lord it is an occasion when we look back on the past we look back on the past and wish each other well for the year to come bless me father is a common refrain when i meet people in most cultures we have the tradition of asking blessing from elders actually the extending of wishes for a happy new year goes back to the religious notion of blessing in ancient times people knew that the force of the blessing rested with the power and will of god and not with the mysterious capacity of the priest saying it blessings truly come from god a blessing comprises one the calling down of god's bounty upon people and second thanksgiving return to god i repeat a blessing comprises two elements one the calling down of god's bounty bounty upon people and second thanksgiving written to god for the ancient hebrews the common verb in their language for to greet often meant to bless when person 
that blessing was considered a petition to god when he blessed god it was an expression of praise and gratitude in addition to people blessing one another certain individuals certain individuals possessed special authority to call down god's blessings a father upon his children a king upon his subjects and priests upon the faithful the blessing of today's first reading that we just heard upon the people derived from moses brother aaron and his priestly descendants the blessing is threefold and is so beautiful that it is an integral part of many christian liturgical liturgical services see how it reads may the lord bless you and keep you or take care of you may the lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you may the lord look on you with favor and give you peace so the blessing does three things one it recognizes people's dependence upon god on god number 2 it wishes that god give the blessings recipients a sign of divine pleasure third it wishes peace which is that precious gift of not only internal tra- internal tranquility but of prosperity and happiness as well now why does the liturgy presents us this solemn blessing on the very first day of the year does the church think that after this blessing we will have more protection than others against mishaps misfortune or disease throughout the year no absolutely not we will have the same problems same problems and difficulties as other people but our faith in god who only blesses and never curses will help us to face them we will be able to see each event good or bad joyful or sad as part overall plan of god this leads us to reflect on the life of mary the mother of god whose feast we commemorate today she was greeted by the angel gabriel hail mary full of grace the lord is with you but this greeting this greeting with the blessing did not spare her from what was to come when she said yes to god at the annunciation she though blessed did not know the full story that would be only gradually revealed to her but she walked in trust she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart we begin the year invoking god's blessings on all the ups and downs of life of this year let us learn to bless god in everything as mary did and let our life it and let our life be a blessing to many and not a curse let us pray today on the first day of the year jonathan fernandez from australia concesio xavier from mumbai sonia de souza from bengaluru george de souza from sakinaka mumbai argurit sikvera from mira road mumbai lucy desa from mudrangadi are celebrating the gift of their lives we thank god for them and also we wish them happy birthday and we pray for their intentions 
Wilson and Jesse Pinto from Kuwait, Stephen and Felciana D'Souza from Thane are celebrating their wedding anniversary. Congratulations my dear friends. May God bless your family life. George Nirmala D'Souza from Sastan, Anthony Lewis and family from Thana, Mumbai, Matthias and Janet Sera from Kuwait, Philomena Fernandez from Hubli, Anil, Fer Anil Fernandez from Kire, presently in Kuwait. Thank God, especially Infant Jesus, for all the blessings. We also join with them in thanking God for the gift of this new year. And Anthony and Joyce from Kuwait request us to pray for their special intentions. May God bless them. And we pray for the departed soul of Stella Menezes from Karkal. May the Lord give rest. Today, if you have the Carmel Light Bible Diary, you can open to page number 2. And there, we have the beautiful psalm. And I would like to pray that as a prayer as a prayer today. Psalm number 67, verses 2 to 3, then 5 to 6, then 8 verse. O God, be gracious and bless us. You can repeat. O God, be gracious and bless us. Gracious and bless us. And let your face shed its light upon us, so will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your salvation. Your response, O God, be gracious and bless us. And bless us. Let the nations be glad and shout for joy. With uprightness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Your response, O God, be gracious and bless us. Let the, let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. May God still give us his blessing that all the ends of the earth may revere him. O God, be gracious and bless us. May Almighty God and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. My dear friends, on behalf of all the Carmelite fathers and sisters, I would like to wish you a happy, prosperous and grace-filled New Year. May the Lord be with you all, be with you all. May He protect you from all dangers. May He give you good health of body and mind. Pray for us too. See you tomorrow. Have a great day. And still I would like to remind you, if you have not got the copy of the Bible diary that we have published for this year, you can have a copy at the Infant Jesus Shrine, Mangalore, also at Jerosa Company, Hampankatta, Mangalore. The name of the diary is Carmel Light 20. Carmel Light 2020. So you need to ask for this name and get it. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.